Hello, Leo, and welcome to your reading with me, Melissa Joy. We are taking a look at expecting the unexpected. That's why you see all this going on in the background. When I was preparing to do this week's reads, that reading came out first. It kicked its way on in and it decided to kick off this whole new expedition we have going on here. And they've been talking about a total New Year's revolution. That's pretty interesting because that means moving out of familial karma. Familiar your karma as well. Maybe patterns and ways of thinking, belief systems, the way things have operated. So as pressures and stresses come your way, withstand them. Continue to be strong and breathe and move through them. I encourage you. Now it seems to show there's a little bit of ningles going on about it being uh, love on the run. So um, in the meditation beforehand, it was telling me lion on the run turfs up. So there's something coming in here about it's time to either give up this fight or to give in. All right, we'll see what's going on because over here it's been talking when I cleaned up from cancer, this card came out again. Sometimes in the middle of the night, they have me lay things out blindly when I can't see anything and then come discover it in the morning. So this one's been sitting here as we're transitioning into the full moon, the first full moon of the year, the fruition that's coming in. <laughs> and they're like, it's a zinger. This is like your well. So imagine this circle being flat like that and all of this is shooting off through it. So uprising energy, it's interesting because your spring has already sprung. Fantastic. Um, so we do have Six of Cups coming in here. So it's talking about some of these, um, what do people call them, soulmates, whatever. It's it's connections that we've had throughout some lifetimes, throughout some situations, familiar energies coming and moving on through. But they're wanting to sweep a lot of that out because it has impacted your mind. Not the people per se, but the mind in relation to what they represent. Like cleaning house on the uh, archetypes. Because over here in death, you can see death is up there and it seems to be in the foreground, in the forefront and could really steal the attention. But we've moved beyond that and we have more of a hierophant type energy back here, finally offering up the sun, the S-U-N, the radiance, the beauty, the life, no longer having to pretend or follow along or be normal. We're naturalizing now and I love that. So... Um, you already seem to be talking, so I'm not going to get into the background yet. We're just going to roll with it. Now, what's wild is we have the Ten of Spheres or the Ten of Pentacles and all that glitters coming straight up in the center, which seems to be where you're headed. I like that you're choosing your focus. Now, this is not a tease nor a taunt. This is real. It is tangible manifest financial gains, prosperity, joyousness, happiness, and cosmic connections. Things that just spark off properly. There's no red flags. There's no flags, period. Why? Because there's no games, no races, no competition. Um, so that's why that lion is on the run. The one that used to like niggle up in your mind and be, you know, um, you got to do it better, faster, harder, you know, um, compare, compare, compare. And even if it's not in comparison to others, it was in comparison to yourself, this relentless drive going on. And it wasn't one sourced in passion, but that's what I love. Passion has come in here as a blip on the radar to remind you what gets your temperature hot and not frustrated or angry. This is about excitement, enthusiasm, motivation, forward moving. Okay. So this is kind of like your blood work, the framework of your body, the goings on on the inside. And this is what you're going to begin to see on the outside. It's a match made in heaven. I absolutely love that. And how that we've bypassed paying any attention to death and fearing endings and these swift changes because we've moved on past that. And we're getting in the rhythm and the truth of our nature. What you need to know about this two of wands coming and anything that you might be facing is knowing that which ever one you put in your hand is the right choice for you. And right, not meaning right versus wrong, right meaning accurate. Whatever you're drawn towards, it's that time of trust. That's a lot of what the Ace of, well, in this case, I know it's a swords, but this one is like a, a wandsy swords. It's like a passion, a clarity, a passion project coming on in. And it might not even be so specific as to what the goings on are with that, but it's the ignition, the feeling of the connection with yourself again when the heart and the mind 
come together. Not mind over matter and matter over mind. It's the two coming together that it creates this cataclysmic uprising energy of innovation. Mm -hmm. So just start with a choice because the thing is, this one's budding and blooming right where it is. It will be there when you come back to it. This is your home base. This is not something where you're having to leave. This is your launching pad. Okay, friend. Um, so we're going to get on over here as to you're wanting to dip and weave. We're looking at the coming together, restoring the great Eight, the limbness gate, the getting the flow and the reconnectivity to yourself and feeling like yourself again. Would you like that, Leo? That gets me very excited for you. So it's getting back to play, getting back to work. And I don't mean J-O-B-ing, where we're just punching a clock, doing something robotic by rote, that type of thing, mindless where we're not connected. But getting into your work, your life's work, your life's purpose, that thing that really gives it meaning. And that can be in the here and there and the everywhere and the comings and the goings when you're asleep and when you're awake. So let's see what we're going to find out about that. Mm, all tied up. No more. No more. That's kind of what that competition was doing to you. It was limiting you. It was normalizing you. And to think of what normal actually looks like and what it means in the scope of things is taking a tree and whittling it down into a toothpick. The toothpick is the normal, the tree is the natural. Taking the tree, whittling it down to a baseball bat. Does it serve a purpose? Yes, but it doesn't have meaning until the user puts the life back in it. But we're talking about your soul here, the innate truth of who you are, that feeling like yourself. We know you don't want to feel like a toothpick or a baseball bat, something that gets used, that you would like to be the tree, the one that is connected to life itself, the source itself, the resource itself, the heaven and earth where things, kind of like the back of this card, kind of take care of themselves. You see the bees and the flower? They have an inbuilt relationship through nature. Okay, so that's what we're talking about with this coming together. At the split, we have Raphael on the heart. And that's talking about a cosmic connection. Remember that life's purpose? Okay. <laughs> Hang on. Let me see what is going on here. All right. Journey. Journey seems to be what knocked out the fifth chakra, Archangel Gabriel. There's a lot of golden light coming forward here but it's letting it totally in. There seems to be keeping it at arm's length, keeping it away from yourself, maybe keeping it to yourself. So there's um, a bit of separation. And that's the thing, the eight, it is sort of separate, the limnescape, because it looks more like from the side. Hold on, y'all. It would look more like that, okay? The reason why I'm not drawing the rest of it is it's not actually stuck together at the center. It's this warbling effect and this plasmatic type effect. So it's seeing that things are all connected because they're in a circuit. They're energizing and working together just like your veins and your arteries do. They're the same thing, but they serve different purposes because they're going in different directions. So here, see how you're holding out you're holding it away from yourself. You're separating it from yourself. And here you're keeping it to yourself. So like the world around you isn't getting to engage and imbibe with the love that you have for it. And here you're not engaging and imbibing with the love the world has for you. That's what that journey is, is going on this journey of entering into the world, into your natural environment. The one that what, boom, is going to kick off this mending and cause you to flourish and to thrive. This is a new day dawning because at the close of a day, that's actually when the sun sets is when the new day begins. That's where it kisses. That's where it all transpires. And when we begin to act accordingly, like not right or wrong, remember, accurately of recognizing that that's a time that we're already starting to flow into what the next waking part of our day will be. So how we plan, prepare, relax, connect, reflect, those type of energies will serve you well here. Now, what's interesting, there's something overshadowing. We're going to wait on that a second to see because underneath the mending comes this judgment. It's like this um, kinetic tornado 
it's moving about like this electric interchange going on in and it's forming and formulating the roots to move on down. This isn't condemning anymore. That's why we other sent that other lion on the run, the mind of competition of, you know, nose to the grindstone of continuing to have to press forward without the reflection, without the connection, without the reward. That has been done away with. But now we're going to see what is coming in here, okay? That's interesting because this is what was faced out. Now, in Cancer, this was the first thing they were choosing to send on out. And I like that you've had it face down. You're like, let's compost that sucker. Let's put this old trashy thinking, this old cold that drives the energy down into the roots so that the fertility and the beauty can come on up. So it's like five down and five on the return. So um, at least getting an equal return on your investment. So the concern here could have been that, gosh, if I try and get better, I seem to just keep pouring out and it doesn't make a difference. Like say that you had an ache in your neck and you've had it for a number of months and you're like, I've been going to massage or I've been going to, oh, pardon me, shaking it up. I've been going to physical therapy or whatever it is, and it doesn't seem to be making a difference. Well, that's that thing. It's, it's the separation from your worlds so that the mind and the heart aren't connecting. But when you say, okay, this is working out for me. You take the time to reflect. You take the time to rest. Maybe you even take the time that right after you go and you get that therapy or that treatment or that connecting point, right? And you don't just stomp right all over it. You take time to let it settle and sink in to percolate on through. They're talking almost about like, say you got an hour massage and then you had to drive home. Once you get home, take another hour to let it sink on in, to let yourself just relax and chill and not do things like holding up a phone or working in the kitchen for a couple of hours or um, spending time chatting away to somebody else. That's a leaking of your energy and they're wanting you to recover it. See, these two are working together and it takes a look at that just a little bit of time. Just a little bit of time and it bridges a massive gap because it's having to do with your DNA and your regeneration. And that brings in this, the lovers as opposed to the devil. See the sun shining on up there? When we don't keep cutting it off and cutting it short and um, just, just continuing to railroad right over ourselves, which is not our nature. That's more like parenting ourselves or disciplining ourselves or schooling ourselves as opposed to connecting with ourselves. You really wanted to connect with yourself here. See, this connection does away with the mountains and just makes them an absolute molehill and it allows you to get things done in such a brief period of time. Like something that if you just muscle on and press on through, it could take hours to where if you give it that little refractory period, that little reflection period, or even resting for the night, but you've already prepared your mind and you step into it the next day, watch how it happens. Because it has to do with right time, right place. And that's a, that's a sense of wisdom that as we, okay, as we begin to age, we start to understand our rhythm and we want to get to our nature and that seems to bring out a mental erection. You're like, burr. <laughs> and that's giving you a great idea. I love it. Because remember how this is, this is the Ace of Swords, but it's operating very much as the heart and the mind. Remember the wands and the swords, your passion project. But here's the great idea in the clear of day. This is like what the ignition is going on inside of you, where you start to feel alive again. You feel that things are becoming possible. You feel that your dreams could come true. Okay. And then this is where you're like, okay, I've got a great idea. And see, you're not even standing up for it. You could even get the idea. She's so funny. Why are you sitting on the toilet? Okay. And it begins to make quite a stir and watch things. The road rise up to meet you. Because the end coming with it, this is what was overshadowing that lovers, right? And the roots rooting down in this cold season. It had driven you down deep and you're now about to taste the fruits. All right. So, okay. That's interesting. We have more energies going on here. Mm hmm. He said, put that thing back where it came from. It's putting the devil back where it came from. And that is more like question, doubt, uncertainty. Uh, I am a Capricorn sun and the devil is our card. So it can also have a lot of foundational proofs that serve us well. But in this case, it's more like that maniacal mind that the kind of just this discomfort, this, this, um, 
question, this doubt, this air of suspicion, any of those type of things going on, but it's being put back where it belongs, like like the compost. Remember the uh, Five of Pentacles over here, turning it down, like doing away with it, going, okay, I know what that is. That's trash. That's not treasure. Let's put it in the ground. Let's let nature have its way with it. And before we know it, it will be treasure. It will be composted down and dealt with by life and by the cycles and the seasons. Just by taking the time to rest and reflect, it sort of takes care of itself rather than letting it flush back up through this region okay just like you wouldn't take that excrement and put it in your mouth they're saying all right who was that was that gemini yeah you might want to check out the gemini reading 15 15 it's about don't go over it again and some of it don't go through it again because put it where it belongs out in the compost pile and give it the, the sunlight and the air and some time with nature through the natural cycles and rhythms and it will take care of itself. And that's where the stability starts to come in and the fortune begins to come in because that wheel of fortune, the X marks the spot is like passing through into a whole other world. It's fantastic. Well, you don't seem to be too concerned about this magical shapeshifter and the strength sitting over here, but I can tell you, your strength is your victory. And this strength it has more to do with wisdom, with understanding the places and the portions, just like you do when you eat. Eat until you are satisfied, and it keeps a dynamic balance in your life. It keeps the sluggishness, the slothfulness, the sluggardness away. Okay, and then the magical map shifter with the world up under it. We had the star coming in, and that's the magic that you do. It begins to create this circuit like a fountain that is moving through you, which keeps you fresh and clean. More than just those ideas and the aha moments coming up through, it brings in the cognition. And therefore, it will also bring in recognition or recognition, meaning that not only do you have the idea, you know what to do with it. It begins to move through you and it begins to make its way into our world. All right. The stool that I'm sitting in, someone had to invent it. This phone, someone invented it. These cards, someone created them, right? So that's very much what the star is about. It's being able to bring heaven down to earth and have it connect and operate through you. So I hope this helps you out, Leo. I love you. I'm so glad you stopped by here. And if you're glad you stopped by, tickle, tick-tock the like button. You could also like, share, subscribe. They're free as always. And leave your comments down below. Let me know you stopped by, even if it's just a thumbs up or an emoji to give me encouragement to keep on choo choo chewing on this joy train. Remember, you might want to check out the Gemini reading if that part was really resonating with you. And if not, check out any of the signs because we are the whole zodiac. I will see you when you come back. Bye.